Hello, this is Chris Minnick with Webucator. In this video, I'm going to talk about code verbosity in CSS. This video was inspired by a blog post by Scott Vandehei, which is available at the URL shown here. Let's say you're refactoring some CSS like this code snippet. You might be tempted to refactor it using shorthand syntax like this. But there's a problem with this. It turns out that when you use shorthand syntax, any values you don't pass in get reset to their initial values. That's fine for things like bold and italic, but in this case you're accidentally resetting line height to 1. Luckily, it's an easy fix by using the inherit property. Of course, if you use sass, the code actually looks like this. The shorthand syntax now has two problems. First, with all those variables, the shorthand syntax is actually more difficult to read. Secondly, the line height syntax looks like math. In order to keep SAS from trying to divide the font size by the line height, you have to wrap the variables, and even then it still looks like math to humans. At this point you have three options. The first is to use SAS font shorthand, like this. This isn't ideal. The SAS shorthand syntax means we're not writing recognizable CSS anymore, and it makes it more difficult to sort properties alphabetically. The second solution is to use font shorthand but set line height separately, like this. This isn't too bad, but those font shorthand rules are still really difficult to read with all the variables. The third option is to set each value separately, like this. This is great. It's readable, and we can sort properties alphabetically again. But there's a problem with this option. It's exactly the same thing we started with. Refactoring can be frustrating, because you can end up rejecting clever or space-saving solutions in favor of more readable or maintainable solutions. Don't refactor for your own immediate benefit. Think of the person who will inherit the code months or years from now when you may not be around to explain it. If breaking up a shorthand makes your code more readable, that may be a trade-off that's worth it. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks again to Scott for the inspiration. Check out his blog at the URL shown here for other articles related to web development.